When you look at any successful Shopify dropshipping store, they always do three things really well. These are the three things that I like to call the three pillars. So they have a really good product, which has a unique selling point. They put that product in front of the right people, i.e. they have a really good advertising campaign and creative, and then they send those people to a really professional and trustworthy Shopify store. In this video, I'm gonna show you all three of those things behind a proven million dollar Shopify store. So the Shopify store in question is called Sensory Joy, um, sensoryjoy.co. It's an Australian business, if I'm not mistaken, it is indeed an Australian business, and they are indeed a drop shipping business too. So I am gonna show you where you can source these products from, how much you can source them from, so you can see exactly um, what sort of profit margins are in play for this business. I found this business on the exchange marketplace, which is basically where people go to sell their Shopify stores, so you can find out a lot of information about them. It's a great resource, it's a great tool, especially if you're new to drop shipping and you're looking for a starting point, and a niche or a particular product to invest your time and commitments into, then it's a great way of finding those tried and tested businesses or products that you can then replicate or take information and inspiration from and implement into your own business. So just as kind of like a summary, the business was founded two years ago and it approximately takes 20 hours per week to run this um, million dollar business. We can see since their beginnings they've done 1.3 million in revenue, their highest month being in May last year, which was $140,000. What's really good about this business too, is just two months ago in July, they had a six figure month. So if you are looking for a particular set of products or product, which is working right now. So if you're sat there right now, not knowing what particular product to go for, because you're not sure about whether it's gonna work, then the products I'm gonna show you in this video are currently working now. So pillar number one is the Shopify store. If you want to be successful, you need a decent designed Shopify store that looks professional and most importantly looks trustworthy. When you're gonna be advertising on a social media platform, if you're not a household name, then the majority of people who will see your ad will not have a clue who you are. They won't know if you're a scam, they won't know if you're legitimate, they won't know any of these things about you, so they're gonna be wary about buying from you. So unless you put certain things in place and put across a certain impression, they're not gonna trust you enough um, to spend their hard-earned money with you. So if we take a look at these guys, we can see it's a store based around children's products. So the colors, the fonts, the kind of softness of the store, everything is built to give you that theme and that feel of it being a children's store. So for example, in the logo, they've used multiple different colors, the use of a rainbow, the font and the actual letters in the font are rounded, they're not harsh, they haven't got accents on. It all gives off that kind of feeling of being a children's store. Using our Koala Inspector Chrome extension, we can see the theme they're using is a Debutify theme. There is a free option, so it just goes to show to make a decent amount of money, you don't actually need a paid theme, you can use a free one. If we take a look at this favorites of the month section, it's very basic, it's the standard layout of the Debutify theme, so anybody watching this video can go and use this exact same layout and it won't cost you any money. Some things worth pointing out, which are things that sometimes um, people miss off in their own stores to help build that trustworthiness and legitimacy to help people feel safe and comfortable shopping with you. They have a contact us page with a contact form. I would actually go on further, I do in my own stores to provide further contact information such as a physical address, um, it's handy for me because I do have an office which I pay for to be here and a space to work from so I haven't got to put my home address, I can just use my office address. I provide an email address which these guys do and then I actually go one step further and provide a phone number um, which I actually have here um, which is like an old school kind of like work telephone that people can leave messages on and then I can get back to them as and when I need to. Something else they have as well is a track your order page. So it just shows that people can feel safe and comfortable shopping with these guys because they'll get kept in form of all their kind of um, delivery progressions. That's a weird, really weird way of explaining it. People can keep track of where their product is basically. They also have in their logo over 35,000 happy customers. That's probably true given how much they've turned over. Um, so it's just great, a great way of advertising how many people have trusted these guys before so people can feel safe and sound shopping with them. So that's pillar one, they have their trustworthy Shopify store. Pillar number two is their USP products. So these are products that have that wow factor and that unique selling point about them. 
We can go back to our Koala Chrome extension tool. We can go to products, we can go to best sellers, and we can see that their best selling product is the Sensory Swing. And we saw number two was this Magic 4. This Magic 4 actually featured in one of my best selling products videos a few months ago. So if you got on it then, um, it just goes to show it is indeed a proven, tried and tested. Um, and great product to sell. With it coming up to Q4 as well, when things like this, toys, um, spike in popularity, I can't explain enough how much of a great product this is. And to build a store around these kind of fort building kits or construction building kits, definitely, definitely um, a good route um, with tons and tons of potential. So these are the two best selling products of this um, seven figure store. I've gone ahead and found these products on AliExpress too so we can get an idea of what their profit margins are. So they're selling this cuddle swing for $90. Um, I found it on AliExpress, free shipping in under 15 days, which is brilliant, for about $20. Um, so if my maths doesn't um, let me down, that's a $70 profit margin, which is absolutely awesome. Their second best selling product, which is this Magic Fort, they're selling $50 for 78 pieces. And I did, probably should have checked how many pieces this one comes from. There's loads of different variations. Um, but this one is about $20, they're selling it for 50. So regardless, really, there's gonna be some decent profit margins. And the more profit you have, or the more room you have in a product, the easier it becomes to scale it to bigger numbers as well. Just to point out some highlights on the product page, which catch my eye, which I really like. This is why I like to do, or love to do research like this, because there'll always be something new that you'll discover, that you can test in your own stores. And as long as you make a note of when you made those changes and you monitor the conversion rate, you'll be able able to tell whether it's having a positive or negative impact. So they've made quite a big thing about the 30 day money back guarantee. Most stores just have a little icon in a little section. There's no way you can miss this seeing as it has a big purple background. So everybody's gonna see this, notice this, and probably read or understand what it means. They have this little kind of um, compilation or collage um, of positive reviews or comments from their customers, which again is a great way of just kind of instilling that trustworthiness and legitimacy that legitimousness, if that's even a word, or what I was trying to say, social proof. They're a legitimate company fulfilling their orders. They have information about their shipping and delivery, which every successful store that I note um, on my channel also has. So if you haven't got shipping and delivery information on your product pages, perhaps you should include it. And then they also have a photo review app Looks like looks, could be one called A Reviews. There's loads of different ones that look very similar, but ultimately it shows that customers in the past have purchased this product, use this product, love this product, and just shows them many different applications of it. So pillar number one, we've seen their Shopify store, really professional, tons and tons of social proof. Number two is we have their products. We can see a USP of this comfort swing and the Magic Fort building kit. They're not your everyday products, everyday products that you're gonna come across in your local store. They're new and they're exciting. Third and final, then we need to take a look at their advertising campaigns. So for this, I'm gonna open up the Facebook ad library. If somebody is running, if a page, I should say, sorry, is running ads on Facebook, you can go to the Facebook ad library and you can see exactly what those Facebook ads look like. You can do the same thing on TikTok and it is worth its weight in gold. It's such a valuable tool. If you're not aware of these, I highly recommend you go and check them out, get to grips with them, and just have a little spy on what some of your competitors are doing. So this is their Facebook ad for the Sensory Swing, and we'll go ahead and play it in a second. It is a video ad. I highly recommend, probably there's 95% of products I come across are better advertised via a video. Some things like jewelry, a still image will say it all. However, with a product like this and the kind of like emotional connection with the product and what it can do for a child, then the only way to advertise this effectively would be a video. If they were to use a still image, it would not have the same effect as this video of a kid bouncing around showing how enjoyable or beneficial it is. They also use the video ad to kind of play on emotional heartstrings and whenever you can kind of get the viewer to feel something they're much more likely to consume the entire ad and then what they should do if they do a really good job 
is finish on a high, finish on a positive, get people feeling good about their product, associating that happy feeling and good feeling with the product, which in turn makes people want to buy the product. If you think about when you've bought anything in the past, the chances are you're in a good mood. It's been proven in many studies, people who are in a good mood spend more money. So if you can get your Facebook ad to do that to the people who view your creative, you're much more likely to convert them into customers. And so with that being said then guys, that is the three pillars behind a proven seven figure store. I hope you've learned something interesting. I hope I've got you excited about drop shipping. More importantly, I hope I've motivated you to take action and put things into place and start building your drop shipping store right away. We are in a very good time of year for e-commerce businesses. However, we are running out of time. So make sure you get your business started sooner or later. Have a play around building your store, testing products, and really get yourself in a position to take advantage and capitalize on Q4 as much as possible. Thanks for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one.